This type of conference is absolutely essential, essential for many, many reasons. First, allowing for networking opportunities with police, with customs, uh, with law enforcement agents across the world. It allows private sector guys to interact between themselves and their own industry groups. Um, and is, as I said, is a very valuable part of the IP program, certainly for me and has been for many, many years. I think one of the highlights of this conference is the fact that uh, I can meet directly with the law enforcement agents who are on the ground in one place uh, at the same time. I can join, join cases together, I can join the dots. I've got a number of international cases running at the moment and in this conference for example I've been able to utilize the time to actually bring people together to move things forward. And at the same time meet new people, making new contacts in new areas where I'm looking to expand our company's programs, new dimensions, new geographical areas and the people are here. I don't have to travel there, the people are here already under one roof and we can, we can interact in, in both formal surroundings and particularly in informal surroundings which is useful and cost effective. IP crime uh, in general is of course a priority for our company and uh, over the years I'm happy to say has gained so much more recognition. When I first got involved in uh, anti-counterfeiting in those early days we had to, the priority was to prove that organized crime was involved. I think over the years now when you look back there, there's no question it's accepted by governments, accept, accepted uh, by law enforcement themselves, they recognize involvements of organized crime. So we're moving forward. We still have many, many targets to achieve, but over the years, um, uh, these, types of, these types of messages have been adopted, sure. Interpol's efforts in assisting uh, private sector in fighting against IP crime is uh, irreplaceable, is the word that I would use. I think that, that, you know, sometimes you have to, as a, imagine if a private sector person, you have to sit back and think that Interpol actually has this dedicated unit involved in IP crime. For me, uh, the moment as, as the program developed all those years ago, going back 2002, uh, I think when, when I first w was, was starting to get involved in this, um, in the relationship with Interpol and how that has moved forward, Interpol has allowed the platform, the gateway, for the networking from both sides, from private sector side and from law enforcement side. Um, there are a number of uh, interesting new developments, uh, particularly uh, I want to mention the IP Crime Investigators College um, as a new uh, initiative which I think uh, really allows opportunities for law enforcement to learn a lot more. If the, message, the message that I constantly give now on my travels when I'm meeting with, with police and with customs is to try and uh, promote the college. I think in the future, moving forward now, um, that will be uh, the next big interesting thing.